This question here is asking us to describe a method to find out what the density of this object is. And one of the things that we should note straight away is that this object, it's not a regular object uh, like a cuboid or a cylinder, so we can't work out the volume by calculation. We're going to have to find a different way of doing that. Because we're asked to find out density, density is mass divided by volume. So we're going to have to um, um, decide how to measure the mass, and that's fairly straightforward. Uh, but measuring the volume is a little bit more involved. So we're going to have to think through carefully how it is that we do that. There is six marks that are going on this question. So therefore, there's a degree of detail that, um, uh, that we should be including on this. Uh, and um, what happens with this is that when we're describing a method, and this will, will apply to any method that we're describing, we have to make sure that we make it clear what the method is. Uh, we need to make sure that the key steps are identified and they're put into a logical sequence. And that would apply to any question like this where we are describing a, a method. So let's start off by talking about to find the density of an object, we divide the mass by the volume. We can determine the mass by using a balance. So what we would do to start off with is to put this object, um, the chess piece, we would put that onto a balance and that would tell us what the um, at what the mass of it is. But we now need to determine a way uh, of getting the volume of this. And the way that we're going to do this is that we need, we then need a container. It might be a container such as a, a beaker or something like that, which we fill with water to the brim. So we would have our container, it would then be completely full of water. We then carefully immerse the object in the water. Now, of course, as soon as we do that, the water will then start to overflow. And it's important that we put the object in carefully so that we don't splash extra water out. But one, what we do need to be doing, we can carefully immerse the object in the water, catching all the water that overflows. And as you can see, what we're doing here is putting this in really quite a logical sequence. We measure the volume of the water that overflowed. This is the same as the volume of the object. We then divide the mass of the object by its volume to determine the density. So what we've done there, we've got a complete method. Um, we've specified the method in detail and we put that into a logical sequence.